Candyman into the Candyverse. Pretty much everything about Candyman on a technical level is phenomenal. Every Jordan Peele production is. For someone who hasn't directed a whole lot theatrically, I think Nia DaCosta did a phenomenal job. She does a great job of making the movie visually interesting, even if the stuff on screen isn't that intriguing. Like, if there was a scene in this movie where Candyman made toast on, like, a lazy Sunday morning, even that would be cool because of how interesting this movie is shot. The music is also really good. Composer Robert Lowe deserves a lot of credit for making a score reminiscent of the original while still feeling unique and different. How's the story, though? Eh? It's not what I expected, that's for sure, and I'm not sure if it's my fault or the marketing. I don't know if it's because I saw... No, nope, no, 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 don't say that in every single trailer, but I was really expecting a lot more Vanessa Williams and Tony Todd. There's a lot of shots in the movie where you can't really see Candyman that well, so maybe that's Tony Todd, but I don't know if that really counts. If you're going into this movie going, hell yeah, Tony Todd's back, the OG Candyman, I'm so excited. Don't say that because you're going to be disappointed. But if they're going to sideline the OG characters, the new ones better be good, right? 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 Actually, yeah, I liked him, for the most part. As far as pure performance goes, I think all the actors did phenomenal. I think the big thing that's gonna determine if you like this movie is the pacing. If you've seen the OG Candyman, it is very similar, it's kind of a slow burn. And if you haven't and you're expecting kills left and right and Candyman's going crazy, that's not how it is. Personally, I had no problem with it, and I enjoyed watching this mystery unfold. We get scenes of Tony finding inspiration that are entertaining in its own right, and then whenever a white person steps in a mirror, man, I just turn straight into that guy from Gravity Falls. I'm like, get him, get him. The ending is, the, the ending's interesting. It ends on a really cool note. Like the scene is awesome. It fits into the whole film's themes of legacy and who lives and who dies and who tells your story. But I feel like there was just more I wanted to see. The way the original ends, it feels like a complete story, but when this one ends, I'm like, no, 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 keep going, don't stop, like, oh, that was getting good. Overall, I enjoyed it, though. I wish there was more Tony Todd, but Yahya and Monica Rambeau did a really good job. I'd pay like $10 to see this movie, and I'm putting it in B tier, right above Free Guy. Also, I saw Fear Street Part 1, C tier above Kong, I saw Don't Breathe 2, eh, C tier above Old, and I saw Luca, pretty good movie, top of B tier, cool. J. Wait, 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 did you hear that? I am the writing on the wall. At least A tier. Be my victim. More like B tier. <laughs> get it? Get, get it, dude? Huh? That was just dumb. Time to die.